Hello dear friends and strangers near and far. Slim Forsyth here, coming to you through the wonders of modern day cyberspace technology with a big idea respectfully submitted for your approval. I'm here right now in the Slim Forsyth Museum at Needs Hotel. We're in the Lawrenceville neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, along the banks of the mighty Allegheny River. I live here at Needs Hotel, just up those steps and down the hall. And I perform here frequently, downstairs, indoors, in the bar room, and outdoors in the warmer months on the amphitheater stage. My big idea is to make a weekly televised variety show live from Needs Hotel. We'd film it right downstairs in the bar room in front of a live audience. I'd be the host and my good buddies Pittsburgh's notorious country heck hounds, those Beagle Brothers, have signed on as the house band. And for our very first special guest star, we have none other than our 10th Ward treasure, the Rose of St. Kieran's Molly Alphabet. The show would bring you lots of classic country music, western swing, honky-tonk, that high, lonesome, old-time mountain gospel, bluegrass, even a little rockabilly thrown in now and then. Plus, original compositions of mine, the Beagle Brothers, and the guest stars. To get those guest stars, we'd tap both local talent and nationally touring artists. And how's this for a news flash? I've just teamed up with a Grammy Award winning sound recording engineer by the name of Dino Gabriel De Stefano, and he's going to be the producer of our show. Dino was the mixing engineer for WQED Television's Live From Studio A series, and his recordings of the Manchester Craftsman's Guild were both Grammy nominated and Grammy winning projects. Dino's real excited to be part of the team producing the show, plus he's already got a fabulous working relationship with the house band, those Beagle Brothers. Dino has produced their last three full-length records. Now friends, we realize that if a project of this caliber is going to fly week after week, well, it's probably going to take a hefty dose of commercial sponsorship. But we're coming to you right now on this Kickstart thing with a very limited and very realistic goal of funding just one pilot episode. One first class, broadcast quality, pilot episode of the show, which we would then take to those prospective commercial sponsors. We'd take it to major foundations, nonprofits, other deep pockets, rich uncles, sugar daddies, that sort of thing. And we'd take that pilot to local television production shops here in southwestern Pennsylvania and in other media markets. We'd even go for national syndication of the show. And while we pursued those, I guess you'd call them more conventional routes for distribution, we would also fully exploit the many new and innovative distribution options available in cyberspace. So that's the plan. Nothing short of worldwide domination. The plain truth of the matter is, friends, it's taken old Slim Forsyth just a little bit longer to become an internationally famous country western singer-songwriter than I thought it would. In fact, according to my original five-year plan, by now I should have been in rehab. But I'm just going to keep slugging away. And even if we don't attain worldwide domination, but we just might. I can guarantee you this. We're going to have one heck of a summer, and I hope you can share in the fun. Now, how are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to tell you how to do that right now, so get that pencil and paper ready, Kimasabi. Over to your right, my left, your right, you'll see a list of our wonderful premiums, all kind of fun and creative ways for us to say thank you. Take a look at that list and choose a level of participation that works for you. Maybe you're a coyote. 
Maybe you're a mountain lion. Maybe you're that Palomino we've been looking for. Whatever level of participation you choose, thank you. And now I just want to say one more thing, friends. You know, it takes a lot of people, a lot of money, a lot of resources and brain power to make a project like this succeed. But again and again, it keeps coming home to me that at the end of the day, it's about the music. It's the music that's going to sell this thing. It's the music that finds a place in our hearts and makes a home there. The music, for example, of Hank Williams. The music of Johnny Cash, the Carter family, the Stanley Brothers, Bill Monroe, Flatt and Scruggs, the music of Patsy Cline and Buck Owens, Ernest Tubb, Bob Wills, Loretta Lynn, Kitty Wells, and the list goes on and on. And it would be one of the chief joys of my life to be bringing that music to you week after week, live from Needs Hotel. So take a look at those premiums, Kimasabi, especially the buffalo and the grizzly bear. Those two premiums got all the information you need to become a member of our live studio audience, or perhaps I should say our live barroom audience, on the day we make the pilot episode right here at Needs Hotel. That's the buffalo or the grizzly bear. Please give those two premiums your kind attention. But again, friends, whatever level of participation you choose, on behalf of everybody on the show, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And may the good Lord hold you in the palm of his hand till we meet again on that long, lost highway.